गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी स्टार्ट विथ अवर न्यू लेसन लेसन नंबर फाइव एडिटिंग टेक्स्ट इन एम एस वर्ड टू थाउजेंड इन प्रीवियस क्लास यू ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड टू थाउजेंड इन दैट यू ऑल्सो डू द प्रैक्टिकल लाइक टाइप अ लेटर टू योर लविंग मॉम डू द चेंजेस सेव यूर प्रैक्टिकल चेंज द फॉन्ट दिस टाइप ऑफ वर्क यू ऑलरेडी done in the previous class i am today give a short uh, meaningful information about the microsoft word and what are the features of microsoft word that i tell you now after that we will start with our video basically microsoft word is a word processing software we can use a notebook to write word and sentences in the same way microsoft word allow us to type text on a computer in a simple and effective manner word processor is an application software that help us to type edit and format the text then with the help of word microsoft word what we can do we can type letter stories report etc in a simple way uh, we can make changes in the text while typing and after typing also give presentable look to the text using different color style and effects then add pictures in the document also can keep the document error free using a spelling and grammar feature copy and move the text save the text for the further use and print a part or hold the document means there are many things we can do with the help of microsoft word so let us see what more things we can do with the help of microsoft word today we are learn about how to start microsoft word then how to enter the data or how to enter a text then what are the shortcut keys of copy paste uh, then creating a new document opening a new document this also we are learn with the help of this chapter then how to insert a text copy a text moving a text how to editing editing a text these all are functions we are used or we are learned with the help of this video so student pay attention here watch this video and after that we will start our question answer session microsoft word is an application software used for word processing It was introduced by Microsoft Corporation, one of the world's largest companies in the software development. MS Word has the power and flexibility to produce letters, reports, notices, newsletters, books, bills, etc. quickly and in a presentable manner. Modify the text both while typing and after typing. Beautify the text using color, style, font size, border, shading and various other effects. Insert graphics and make use of various drawing tools to draw pictures. Copy and move the text from one location to another. Preview the text before printing it. Take multiple printouts. Let us first learn how to start MS Word. Click on Start. All programs. Microsoft Office. Microsoft Office Word 2007. The Word application opens a blank document with a temporary name Document One. The small blinking vertical line that you notice on the screen is known as the insertion point. or cursor it indicates the position where the next typed character will appear as you start typing the cursor automatically shifts to the right we can enter the text on the same screen or create a new document now let us learn how to enter the text in ms word start typing the paragraph in a new document while typing You will observe that word wraps the text automatically and moves the words that do not fit in the current line 
to the next line. Type the given text and observe the wrap effect. Let us now learn how to create a new document. Number 1. Click on the Office button. Then, New Option. Number 2. A new document dialog box appears on the right side of MS Word window. Number 3. Select the blank document. Click on the New button on the Quick Access toolbar. The shortcut key is Ctrl plus N. Now let us find out how to save a document. Number 1. Click on the Office button. Save option. Number 2. The Save As dialog box will open. Number 3. Type the file name in the file name box. Number 4. Click on the Save button. Click on the Save button on the Quick Access toolbar. The shortcut key is Ctrl plus S. OK, now we shall see how to close a document. Number 1. Click on the Office button, then Close option. Number 2. If the file is not saved, a message box appears. Number 3. Click on Yes if you want to save the file. If you don't want to save the file, select No option. Now, the shortcut key is Ctrl plus W. Let us now learn how to open a document. Number 1. Click on the Office button, then Open option. Number 2. The Open dialog box will appear. Number 3. Select the file that you want to open. Number 4. Click on the Open button. Or, you can click on the Open button on the Quick Access toolbar. The shortcut key is Ctrl plus O. Now, we shall learn how to print a document. Number 1. Click on the Office button, then Print option. Number 2. The Print dialog box will appear. Number 3. Click on OK. The document will be printed. Or, you can click on the Print button on the Quick Access toolbar. The shortcut key is Ctrl plus P. And finally, let us learn how to exit from MS Word. Number 1. Click on the Office button. Then, Exit Word option. Or, click on the Close button on the title bar. The shortcut key is Alt plus F4. Let us now learn how to select and edit the text in MS Word. After typing the text in a document, you may want to make some changes in the text. Making changes in a document is called editing. To perform any action like copying, moving, finding and replacing, deleting or formatting the text, we need to select the text first. The selected text is displayed on the screen in a highlighted bar. To select a block of text, we can use the selection area, which is the blank area in the document's left margin. We can select the text in a variety of ways. Look at the table below to select the text using mouse. To select a word, the method is to double-click on the word. To select a sentence, hold down the control key and click anywhere on the sentence. To select a paragraph, triple-click anywhere in the paragraph or double-click in the left margin of the paragraph. Now, select a large block of text. You have to click at the beginning of the text. Press the Shift key without releasing it. Click at the end of the text. And to select an entire document, the method is to click anywhere in the selection area while holding down the control key. Or, triple click in the selection area. OK, now let us learn how to insert the text. MS Word provides us the facility to add new text to an already existing document. Place the cursor to the right of the character where you want to insert the text and then type the text. The existing text which is placed after the cursor will be shifted to the right side. 
Now, let me quickly share some useful keyboard shortcuts. Ctrl plus A. This selects the entire text. Shift plus Home. This selects text from the current position to the beginning of a line. Shift plus End. This selects text from the current position to the end of the line. Let us learn how to move the text. This feature is used to move the text from its original location to a new location. Select the text you want to move. Click on Cut button in the clipboard group on the Home tab or Ctrl plus X. The text disappears from the document and is placed on the clipboard. Position the cursor at the location where the text is to be placed. Click on the Paste button or press Ctrl plus V. The selected text appears at the desired location. Students, do you know the fact that the clipboard is a temporary storage area in Windows? It can hold a piece of information at a time for further use in a program or to store, cut, copy and paste data while switching between two programs. Okay, now we shall learn how to copy the text. Copy and paste option is used to duplicate the text. We can copy the text from one location to another within a document or even from one document to another. This feature helps in reducing our time and effort in typing. Copy feature is similar to the cut feature, except that it copies the text and does not remove the text from its original place as cut feature does. Select the text you want to copy. Click on the copy button in the clipboard group on the home tab or press Ctrl plus C. A copy of the selected text is placed on the clipboard. Position the cursor at the desired place. Click on the paste button in the clipboard group on the home tab or press Ctrl plus V. The copy text appears as its new location in the document. Okay, let me share some tips and tricks. To create a shortcut of MS Word, drag its icon to the desktop. Alright, let's know more. The Quick Access Toolbar is located next to the Office button. It contains commonly used commands. Now let us find out how to delete the text. Word provides the facility to erase the text. Follow these steps. Select the text. Press the Delete key. The selected text will be removed. We shall now learn how to use undo and redo commands. MS Word keeps track of all the changes that we make in a document. We can easily undo any change and restore the original text. The undo option reverses the effect of the last command. To reverse one or more than one action, click on undo button. And to reverse the action of the undo command, click on redo button. Let us now find out how to check spelling and grammar in MS Word. Word has a built-in dictionary and a set of grammatical rules to check the spellings and grammar of the text document. Misspelled words are displayed in a single red wavy line beneath them. Grammatical errors are indicated with a green wavy line. The spell check starts from the position of the cursor and checks the complete document. A symbol to check the spelling of any word is as follows. Right click on the word with a red wavy line. A shortcut menu will open with various suggestions. Click on the word with the correct spelling in the suggestion list. The incorrect word will be replaced with the correct spelling in the document. The shortcut key to check spelling and grammar is F7 key. Let us now find out how to use Thesaurus feature in MS Word. Thesaurus helps to improve our vocabulary by providing a list of synonyms, words with similar meaning and antonyms, words with opposite meaning for any word. Follow these steps to use Thesaurus. Select the word for which you want to find synonyms or antonyms. Click on Review tab. Point to the proofing group and then select thesaurus command. The research task pane opens, displaying the synonyms and antonyms. 
Move the mouse pointer to the suitable word. Click on the drop down button and select the insert option. The existing word will be replaced with a new word. Okay, let us learn some more things. We can also click on spelling and grammar button in the proofing group on review tab to correct spellings and grammar in the document. The spelling and grammar dialog box appears with the wrong spelling highlighted in red and with a list of suggestions. Autocorrect option in spelling and grammar dialog box automatically corrects spelling as you type without any need to confirm each correction. And some useful shortcuts. The shortcut keys for undo and redo commands are Ctrl plus Z and Ctrl plus Y respectively. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. Word application opens a blank document with the temporary name document 1. Making changes in a document is called editing. To perform any action like copying, moving, finding, replacing, deleting or formatting the text, we need to select the text first. Misspelled words are indicated with a red wavy line beneath them. Grammatical errors are indicated with a green wavy line. Okay, children. Hope you understand this chapter. Watch this video again and again till you get not, get understand. After that, you have to solve the question answers. If you have any problem regarding the question answers, tell me. I will take question answers also. But now you are in fourth standard, so you have you have a practice to find out answers on its own okay that's why i am giving time to find out the question answer but if you have any doubt any query write in comment box after the finding question answers you have to write in textbook after that in a notebook okay thank you